hello everyone welcome back to the channel so in my last video I have demonstrated how we can create cards into power apps and in this session we are going to use those created cards into power automate so that it can be sent as a part of uh, teams groups channels and can be used utilized further to take the inputs so this was the card which we have created last time and I'll just quickly run it just to showcase what was this card so this card is being used to show the product entry and expecting a gross sales input from financial guy or the sales guy and once its input is done and clicking on save that we are expecting the data save into the actual table so the table is this financial table so let's get to the next part where I am going to create one power automate and will use this card to send as a part of teams post or channel message so let's do that so I'll start with make.powerautomate.com and we are going to create a instant cloud flow and I'm skipping the trigger but we are going to use the trigger whenever a row is added for my this financial table so I just go to add and just say row added trigger for my data verse so this is the trigger which I am going to use it's a premium one so it directly gives me the uh, capability like when where I should trigger where I can bind it so we will be binding that on the added whenever item is added table name is my finance table scope I would just keep that as organization level and in the next step we are going to use the cards for our apps group actions so that we can create a card and then send that card as a part of team sample so I'll use I'll type in cards for power apps so although I typed it correctly but it's still not appearing over here so just click on this expand list of connectors so it's a new connector which was recently released so it will not directly come over here so you can click expand and then click on cards for power apps so over here we have two actions it's a create card instance which will create an instance for the card which we are going to specify or get the card description so for our purpose we are going to use create card instance so in this it will load all the cards which are created under this environment so we have these four or five cards created so last time for our demo we created this finance cross data collection card so I clicked on it and we got this two input field so if you watched my last video you must have seen that I have created two variables which act as an input for my this card so input primary field which are which is being used to looking up the record where I wish to patch my input data and the other is just to showcase the product name on the header of the card so we can actually bind this with my the data the dynamic data which we just got from our previous day uh, row so I can say input primary field is the unique identifier this one and the product name I can say product name from here so this is the this are binded with the dynamic data so whenever we are going to create this row so just remember to pass on the product name input primary field is a GUID so it will automatically generate it so no need to worry about it that's fine so as a next step we are going to post this newly created card into teams channel so we are going to take help of post message not post message post card in teams channel postcard in a chat or channel so when you click on post as so over here just remember to select this power apps preview one so it will not work with the other flow bot or user one so we have to click on power apps preview for sending our cards otherwise you will get error and post in as channel so once you click on that you will get the option to select Team. so I'll just say financial approval group channel I'll just post that into general and card card which we just created in our previous step as a 
new card instance so i'll just select that card so we have done this small power automate for it now i am just going to save and we are going to do a test run so i am going to create one manual entry into my this financial table so that we can actually do a actual testing so i'll just go to the end create a new entry i'll just say test record if there is a country column so i'll just say country as india this guid will be automatically generated these cross sales will be filled later on using our card in product name i'll just set that product name as let's say xyz product and so as soon as i clicked on it it will save my record and i'll just go scroll back to top and we'll just wait for our power automate to trigger we can just go back and wait for the trigger so our power automate ran successfully and if we just go inside of it it must have posted a card into our team channel so if i just go back so i am already there in the into my this channel and you can see financial finance cross collection card has been shared if i load the card i'll see the details please provide the gross sales for my product and i'm just passing 55000 and clicking on save and when i go back to my table i am expecting my newly data should be updated with this cross sales amount which is collected from via the power apps card so i am just scrolling down so this was a record which we, we created and it's having this the data which is collected or passed back from our channel updated back to our financial data table so this is how we can actually automate sending of the these cards into the different teams channel we can create multiple cards we can patch with the same record so one can one team can provide me the discount rates one team can provide me the number of uh, quantity one can be cross sales but patching back to the same record so this concludes our both the parts in first part we saw creation of card and second part we saw like how we can automatically or uh, in a in a flow with a, using a flow we can share the cards across the channel so that's it i find it useful i hope you do also if you have any further questions on it please do drop your comments and like the video thank you